हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ प्रशांत कुमार श्रीवास्तव टीचर ऑफ इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज लिटरेचर ऑफ संदीम कॉन्वेंट स्कूल बक्सर डे स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू विल बी सेफ एट योर होम टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू फ्रॉम योर न्यू बुक दैट इज क्लाइम विद कॉर्नर स्टोन ग्रामर एंड कॉम्पोजिशन स्किल्स द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ दिस बुक इज द सेंटेंस द प्रिव्यू इज in this topic i am going to describe definition of sentence subject and predicate identification of subject verb and complement kinds of sentence before this i am going to write the definition of sentence before you just have a look on that a sentence is a systematically arranged group of words that make a complete sense and ends in punctuation mark is termed as a sentence a sentence is a systematically arranged group of words that make a complete sense and ends in punctuation mark is termed as a sentence my dear students only the collection of words cannot be a sentence if it is not arranged systematically in order to understand this concept the sentence better let us examine some examples in the light of the definition furnished above let us take example to understand this first we have two examples in which am and in said i man no time and time wait for see not is ugly these are mere collection of words but they are not a complete sentence because they are not giving a complete sense so what would be the right form the first is am i am in sen man question mark time and tide waits for none c c is not ugly hmm. what did we see we have seen that 
it only the systematic arrangement of words that give a complete sense is called a sentence now after that we have to study the segment of sentences According to the grammatical study, there are two segment or parts of the sentence. The first one is subject, and the second one is predicate. It means that a sentence has two part. I'm not talking about kind. I'm talking about the part of a sentence. Every sentence have a two parts. First one is subject and second one is predicate. In this class, we will talk about the subject. What is a subject? Simply, we can say that a subject is a doer. That means, ki the person or thing, the part of a sentence which performs any action or does some action is called subject. Or we can say that ki a part of sentence about which something is being said is called subject according to this definition subject can be classified in two groups the first one is doer and second one is non doer doer means a person or thing that performs an action non doer it means that ki a person or thing which does not perform any action but about which we are talking for example he is playing chess here the subject is he and he is performing an action that is playing so it is a doer and non doer he is a doctor in this sentence the subject he does not perform an action but about whom we are talking about and what we are talking about he is a doctor it means that he, here the subject he is a subject but can but it is non doer but it is non doer now we study ki how can we identify the subject and what the subject would be a subject a subject can be a noun it can be a pronoun it can be a gerund it can be a infinitive it can be a adjective and group of words a subject can be a noun a subject can be a pronoun a subject can be a gerund infinitive adjective group of words sometimes it can be a participle also now 
हाउ डू वी आइडेंटिफाई द सब्जेक्ट जो एज वी नो दैट कि सब्जेक्ट ऑलवेज बिगिन्स अ सेंटेंस सो इट मस्ट बी इन द कैपिटल लेटर इट बिगिन्स विथ अ कैपिटल लेटर सेकेंड वर्ड इज दैट वी आइडेंटिफाई अ सब्जेक्ट बाय आस्किंग क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम हु और वट विद द हेल्प ऑफ भर लाइक दिस हु प्लस वर और वट प्लस वर फॉर एग्जाम्पल The driver applied brakes. So, to identify the subject, we ask question by with the help of verb. Who applied the brake? Applied brakes, and what could be the answer? The answer is driver. So the driver is subject, and applied is verb. Hmm. Now, next example: the train came. to a sudden halt now we can also find the subject by asking question with the help of verb like this what came to a sudden halt we get the answer the train so the train is subject and came it is verb in our next class we would study about the predicate and kinds of predicate parts of predicate and after that we are talking about verb and complement object indirect object it is till then stay safe stay at home thank you